And we are just about set to go for first kick. Referee today, Mark Allerton, his ninth USL championship appointment this year. We are underway from Widener Field in Colorado Springs. Switchbacks in black, San Antonio in all white. Beautiful day here in Colorado Springs. Temperatures right around 80 degrees. Beautiful sunny skies. Oh, and a good first touch to head this into space. Nathan might be an on goal. Nathan in the side netting. Sean Melvin cutting off the angle and out for a goal kick. Oxford, the little step up by Edwards. Leave Oxford isolated. Nathan recognized it. Spring in behind. It's another eerie moment on the back line. And here they go again. Nathan in on goal. Nathan scores. What a start for San Antonio. He had a chance in the opening minutes, and now he buries this one. 1-0 one to the roadside. McAngela has to be better. Gets the pocket picked, and then you can't lose your runner here if you're Jimmy Ockford. The argument from the center back is going to be that you had possession. It does not matter. There's too much space there. Building out of the back. Goalkeeper left out to dry. There's your opening goal you're looking for. And here goes Nishikalina. Galena cuts back, Galena saved, Haji Berry's there, and of course he scores! Goal number 13, there he goes again! Big Axel Schuberg there in defense for San Antonio. Now they look to get out in transition again, and here they go! Mayaka the only man back. Can they get the lead right back? No, it's blocked down. Melvin now battling for it. He's out of his goal, trying to chip this in, and McAngela clears it off the line. And now, switch the play now for Gallegos, who cuts in field. Gallegos blocked down. Appeal for handball penalty. Edwards got in the way. The referee spotted it, a yellow card issued, and San Antonio a chance to take the lead right back. Step, head down, power, top pins the entire way. One more look at it. It'll be PC who scores! The first penalty kick goal on the season for San Antonio. They reclaim the lead on the road. training ground and try and replicate over and over and over again. The way that he's able to so calmly step in just like that. Pick it up and go the other direction, unfounded. Ayaka gets this out wide. Chance coming! And just a bit too tall. They have got to earn their playing time and good play there. And here's another one. Galena in behind. Barry's in the middle. Galena for Barry, and he puts this over the bar. Good. Ayaka. Are you guys Keeps going, and now it's Haji Barry slipping this in. Galena saved by Cardoni, and then put out a play. Galena picked up the rebound, but he could not provide the finish. Multiple times dropping down into the pocket. Beautiful vision here. Coming through the middle. Heavy challenge. It looks like another yellow card will be issued. He's going to PC. Another corner kick coming here for the switchbacks. Torres to provide the service. Falls to the penalty spot, pushed over the bar by Cardoni. Up here, Matt Cardoni, only 13 goals given up in 11 games, but just a one shot out to show for it. Do not. Let that cloud your judgment on how good of a goalkeeper this man is. I'm just talking about in terms of results. Yep. That team can play, we know that. Gallegos keeps this moving. Melvin off his line. And it's another penalty. And it looks like Mayaka ran right into the referee. A yellow card issued. So does the attacker, but watch it when it slows down. Watch the right hand of Sean Melvin, right there. He redirects this ball. Where does the contact occur? Touch, 
That's the question. It's really close. Where does the contact occur in reference to when Melvin actually touches the ball? DC's goal was the first penalty kick goal converted by San Antonio this year. And now Nathan steps to the spot. And Nathan puts it away, goes left again. San Antonio extends its advantage. It's two goals on the day for Nathan. Timing is everything, and it's of the essence for Nathan just before halftime. Some kind of penalties from their striker and their midfielder in PC. What is the response now from Colorado Springs? There's a foul and a free kick given to San Antonio. And might this be another yellow card? More and more space is going to continue to open up for both of these squads. Could make the argument there was a foul just seconds prior to their end of the field. Dream start for San Antonio. So we are back here at Widener Field getting set for the second 45 minutes with Devin Kerr. I'm Josh Eastern. What a first 45 minutes it was, and let's see what they can do in this second half. Looking for the switch of play, and look at all the space! Marcus Epps, it's two on one, Epps off the post! Could you believe that? He had an option with Nathan to his right. It would have been a hat trick for Nathan. Epps took it himself. Gallegos to the near side, Epps to the far touchline. What a ball by Cam Lindley. Even better first touch, to be fair, by Epps. A little bit surprised he doesn't go around the goalkeeper. Watch all the pace coming forward, little touch around him. You've got him right where you want him if you're Marcus Epps. Can't fault him, though. He does have the angle. Woodwork, man. Looks like now those subs will come on. Doyle and Dillon. Doyle, his first appearance off the bench this season. It will be Kamari coming off. It's a new venture for Brendan Burke coming west. And this, a big collision and a foul. It'll be a free kick and a good spot for San Antonio. Looks like yellow card in hand for Mark Allerton. Rockford will clear this away. Still kept in. A chance now coming for San Antonio. Here's the shot right at Melvin in the center of goal. Beverly Macanguila and Jose Torres will make way. It's not a bad shift from either one of them. Macanguila is going to be known as the player who gave up that touch in the middle of the field. Need to be better for sure, but should very efficient and more importantly, gave the ability of Torres and Mayaka to stretch this game. Here's Perry looking in field. Zandi, his first touch, a shot rolled into the arms of Matt Cardoni. The amount of long balls and transition we've had be a bit surprising. This will be a foul. Liam Doyle says, yep, that is on you. A yellow card and a free kick. Here goes Galena. Jersey may have been pulled, but still off to the races. Zandi in for Barry. Zandi gets it back, plays this in centrally. A couple of white jerseys converge and it's cleared away. You know, they want to be that offensive explosion. But with the understanding that in Alan Marcina's system, they've still got to step back and help out. Really well done by Cuello on the challenge in the box. Sub coming on here. It's the Loney from the Seattle Sounders. Here comes San Antonio. Gallegos cutting in field. He might do this all himself. The finish is not there. Dylan was running through the middle. Fired and has a very long stretch ahead of him in terms of this singular run. You've done all the hard work. Just release it. San Antonio not done on the attack. Hopi out. Hopi out. Locked down and into the arms of Sean Melvin. He's actually the first professional base out of Hawaii to sign with the Sounders, and he, he signed with what was then known as Seattle Sounders 2, now Tacoma Defiance. 
Played in behind, great chance to pull one back, and there it is for the switchbacks. It's Zach Sandy, the second half substitute. It's his first goal on the season, it's 3-2, and here we go for the final 17 minutes. Behind this long ball up over the top has been wide open. The acquisition of Zach Sandy in the offseason was always one that was going to be a question mark of how he fit into this system. No more questions. Just answers from Zach Zandi returning from injury. Beckford muscles his way through. DeShane Beckford saved. Mahoney over the bar. Won't get a better chance than that to find the equalizer. Individual effort by Beckford. Friendly bounce. And then as he lets this one go, it's a really good first touch by Matt Mahoney. That's the most difficult part here. Torres, who signed a contract in 2019 at just 15 years old, making his third appearance this season. He's only played 20 minutes total. Now gets thrown into the fire in a crucial match for San Antonio to get the Darren Yappi. 16-year-old Maloney from the Colorado Rapids will come in for Jordan Burt. Yappi's fourth appearance on the season. See if we're in for an equally as entertaining finish. Here comes the cross. Weedle just nods this away, only as far as Beckford, who sends this in. It's right at Cardoni, who now hits the turf. They've certainly done so today. I'm sure with the numbers that he's going to see at the end of this, he would have liked more. Questionable penalty for sure off the challenge on Sean Melvin. Long switch of play. Beckford sidesteps Galito. Beckford just wide. Was going for glory there on the top corner. He's got to question some of the decision making here. Once again, all the hard work done by Beckford. Duplan was in the starting 11, scratched late. And now Cardoni is given a yellow card for time wasting. And now San Antonio will play chase. And now they look upfield to put this one away. And glancing just wide. Zandi, Beckford, Beckford saved by Cardoni. Another big save from the San Antonio netminder. Corner kick. We hit the conclusion of this match, and I can't blame him. Matt Cardoni, another. Here's Galena. Pushed off the ball. Galito kicks this away and is into the book. Cardoni sends this high into the air, well above a mile high here in Colorado Springs. This will be another yellow card, one more for good measure. Remember, Zandy's got his mask on as well. He just got rocked in the face. And there's the final whistle. Three goals, three points, and more importantly, San Antonio FC snaps its seven-game winless streak.